Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So a bunch of new cosmetics have released with the CU32 update and you could see them all over on the Silex guide. So I went ahead and compiled all the new cosmetics from coatings to weapon models, armor pieces, even weapon charms. And we're gonna be taking a look at all that stuff in this video. I also want to give a shout out to Delta Index or Halo Index, as I also got some stuff over from their stuff that they leaked. I'll leave a link to their channel down below, as well as a link to the Silex guide so you guys can check it out yourself. But with that being said, let's check out all the new cosmetics that we're gonna see over time. So let's start off with the helmets, which I think is the most unique part of really all the armor customization. Starting off with the first one called a sailor, which is supposed to be like a banished kind of helmet. And this also has an attachment that goes along with it, which is called mimic mask. On to the next helmet, we got the cutthroat helmet, another banished themed helmet. And this one also has a helmet attachment, which is called evil eye. Kind of reminds me of like the stalker brute helmets, I'd say. So I, I think it's going for that. On to the next helmet, we got emissary, and this also has its helmet attachment which is called war master's mandate the next helmet we got is the ikari i probably pronounced that wrong but this is a as you can see a yorai helmet and this one also has a helmet attachment which is called final resolve on to the next helmet which is another yorai helmet jingisa or something like that i probably pronounced that wrong but this one looks pretty cool i like the helmet attachment for this one too on to the next helmet we got the kendo helmet Anyways, this is another Yorai helmet, and its helmet attachment is pretty cool, which is the Temple Champion. So on to the next helmet, we got Negotiator, which this one is really trippy looking. It's supposed to basically be like a jackal head or a jackal helmet. I mean, it kind of sounds like a good idea, but I don't know. It looks kind of weird. I do like seeing all the Banish themed helmets. So I think this is a good attempt at like making a jackal helmet, but uh, I don't know, maybe it could have been a bit better. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting helmet. It's also got its own helmet attachment, which is just like the jackal snipers that have like those night vision goggles. And this helmet attachment is called Epsilon Eyes. On to the next helmet, we got Renegade, which is another Yorai helmet, I believe. Or I think this might just be like a typical Mark VII helmet. This one looks like one of those Halo Online helmets. I forgot what, what it's called, but it looks kind of like that one helmet that's in Halo Online. Anyways. I think it's got a pretty cool helmet attachment, which is called Pack Leader Cornet. So on to the last helmet that we got is called Savage, which is, I'm assuming, another Banish themed helmet. Uh, this one's really interesting looking as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any helmet attachments that go along with it. So that wraps up all the helmets and helmet attachments that we can expect to see over time. Now let's move on to the chest armor, which there isn't many, but let's go ahead and cover it. So the first chest piece we got is the Assailer Heart Plate, which goes with, of course, the Assailer Helmet. Up next, we got Burden of metal which is a yorai chest plate here's another one called clawed plate which is another yorai chest plate so here's the next chest plate which is called code enforcer and this is for the rack of shaska core on to the next one we got the emissary heart plate which i'm assuming goes with the emissary helmet and of course it's for the mark 7 and this one's probably my favorite out of all of them which is the renegade heart plate and this is also for the mark 7 and it's actually got the banished symbol in the center which is why i really like it and of course it's got like these sharp edges on it very very banish themed so i like that one a lot on to the next chest plate we got sensor sash which is for the spy core next up we got the skirmisher plate which i'm assuming probably goes with the jackal bundle or helmet and the last chest plate we got here is warded scales which is of course for the yorai core so now let's check out some of the shoulder pad armor the first one being a sailor paldron the second one being cave bear guard the third one being cutthroat paldron a lot of these just go with like other armor pieces the next one we got is ms Emissary Paldron. And the next one is First Movement. On to the next shoulder pad, we got the Renegade Paldron. I'm really liking the Renegade set. It's got a bunch of like blades and stuff. So here's the shoulder pad for that, which is pretty cool. Now here's another shoulder pad, which is called Scented Clasp. Up next, we got the Thieving Paldron. And the last one is Rex Salvage Paldron, which has like the little Lego <laughs> bits. So some pretty cool looking armor. I'm definitely digging most of the armor we've we're seeing so far. Now let's move on to the hip armor or hip attachments or utility whatever the heck it's called first one being the sailor belt the second one being beacon prototype the third one being beckoning blades this one's really cool it can become like the ninja turtles basically and the fourth one being blistered plate another lego piece armor <laughs> the fifth one being burden of wind which is a yorai one and here's another one we got the emissary belt i do like the belt 
uh, hip attachments. We don't see many of those, but now we're starting to get more of those, so that's cool. And speaking about the belt attachments, here's another one which is called Icor Flask. The next one we got is Motive Booster Pack, which I think is part of the Jackal set. Here's another one we got, which is Nutrient Pouch. Up next, we got the Practical or Practical Lockbox or Paratical. I don't know how to freaking say that, but yeah, we got that one. And that about covers all the hip attachments that we're going to see. Now let's move on to the wrist attachments, which there isn't many, but we're going to cover it anyway. Anyways, so the first one is the Assailer Vembrace. The next one we got is the Lacquered Wasp Shell. Here's another one, Rain and Thunder. Up next, we got Second Movement. And here's another one called Seeker Tracker Marker Light. And the last one being Spine Watch. So let's go ahead and take a look at the knee pads now. And the first one is a Sailor knee pad, which I think is pretty cool. It's got like a giant blade you could just stab someone with. And the second one we got is Beast Pad. The third one is Emissary Knee Guard. And the fourth one is Hunting Pad. And this one's really cool as well, Renegade Knee Guard. And the last one is Sharpened in Scissor. So that covers all the knee pads. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some coatings, more specifically the armor coatings. And I do want to give a quick shout out to Delta Index, as they're the ones who actually found all these coatings. And we can actually see some pictures of it, see how it looks like on a Spartan. So let's start off with the first armor coating, which is Disability Pride Month. The second one, I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but this one looks pretty trippy. On to the next armor coating, we got the Gray Averance, or however the heck you say that. This one's more or less just really a great coating, nothing too crazy. And the next coating we got is the Hispanic Heritage month coding and I'm assuming all those like monthly codings or like that are based on like certain months and stuff are gonna be free so definitely keep that in mind the next coding we got is marked scars which is actually a pretty cool looking coding up next we got the Marshall checkmate which I think was one that was leaked quite a while ago but I guess it may be coming this season now the next coding we got is new dynasty which is definitely gonna release sometime during the 10 rai 4 event so here's another coding called onyx edge which is one that was also leaked a while ago but I guess maybe it's fine Finally going to be coming out sometime during this like CU32 update. Anyways, let's go on to the next armor coating, which is called Silent Forest. And here's another one called Silent Snow. On to the next coating, we got the Unity armor coating, which I assume is going to be one of those that is free as well. This one actually looks pretty cool. It's got like that metallic color to it. And this next one is actually pretty cool as well. This one is called the Warning Glyphs. And the last coating we got here is the Wealth Transfer armor coating. This one also looks pretty cool. It's got that metallic color as well. So yeah, that about wraps up all the armor coatings. Now let's take a look at some of the weapon coatings. There is a few new weapon coatings that we can expect. The first armor coating being Arctic Hound Veil. The next one being Crimson Coral. Up next, we got Frozen Cloud. We got Rent Seeker. And this one looks really cool. Returned Glory. And here's another sweet looking one. We got Secret Greetings. And the last one is Year of the Jackal. So that about covers all the coatings that we can expect. Now let's take a look at the weapon charms, because there's quite a few new weapon charms. The first one being the Chibi Atriox, which is pretty funny. Uh, we actually got a ton of these. The second one being another Chibi of that one guy. I'm not going to pronounce his name because I'm going to butcher it. But anyways, moving on to the next one, we got the Eshram, the Chibi Eshram. We also got one for the Grunt Ultra, the Harbinger, Jaga, which looks really goofy. That one looks funny. We also got one for Sergeant Johnson, so that's pretty cool. And of course, the Mark V Master Chief. And this next weapon charm is pretty funny. We got the Floyd uh, weapon charm plushy flood or something like that i don't know and here we got some hcs ones we got the halo world championship ring and the halo world championship and this one i definitely do want we got heck jumpers weapon charm on to the next one we got the i spy weapon charm and the icy we got the menacing moistness mouse trap natal clear and natal ivory here's another one we got overlord yap yap we also got personal spartan red devil which is Aratus or however the heck you say his name we also got sizzling which which is like a pan on fire we got team anchor and the last weapon charm we got here is team spirit now let's take a look at some of the effects there's not many but we can expect to see these the first one being spring blossoms which is an armor effect and of course we got a bunch of esports kill effects for cloud nine complexity phase optic quadrant sentinels and of course space station gaming and we also got another kill effect that isn't based off hts stuff and that is the imminent privateer which seems to be like a blamite kill effect so that's pretty cool and those are all the effects we have right now. Not many so far. Now let's take a look at some visors, which there isn't many, but we're just going to throw them in here. And these are all going to be free. The first one being Disability Pride Month. The second one being Hispanic Heritage Month. And the third one being Unity Visor. Now let's take a look at the very last thing we got here, which is the weapon models, which I 
absolutely love in Halo Infinite. It's a shame we don't get like new weapons, but so the first weapon model we're going to be looking at is for the Commando, which is called Equative Reach. I think that's how you say it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Commando's getting another weapon model, and the second weapon model we got here is Fortune Bold, which is actually for the Hydra. So the first ever Hydra weapon model. Definitely good to see that. And yeah, this one looks really sweet as well. On to the next weapon model, we got one for the Sidekick, which is called Leaping Bounty, and probably my favorite out of all of them. The next one we got we got here is red steel tooth and this is of course for the assault rifle which adds like a giant blade at the end of the barrel and yeah i mean it just looks freaking sick so on to the next weapon model we got the smash and grab which is for the rocket launcher and this one is really trippy looking this one really completely changes the rocket launcher. I like how this one looks. Anyways, let's move on to the last weapon model, which this one honestly doesn't seem like it changes much, but that is for the bandit rifle and it is called Tarnished Lion. It adds like some wraps around it. And I think there's some engravings in it, if I can see correctly, maybe in game or once we actually see it, like in the actual game, it'll look a little different or we'll like notice more details. But yeah, that one doesn't seem <laughs> very different. Anyways, that about wraps up all the cosmetics that we can expect to see over time in the the CU32 update. Most of it is of course going to be in the shop unfortunately, but it's still cool to see uh, them put a lot of effort into the cosmetics. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.